All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Mill Cream Mode Series, episode sixty-nine. Giggity, 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 go, 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 go! All right, that's it with sixty-nine jokes from now on. And now we're done with that. We can actually take on Real Madrid at a Bernabeu. Yeah, no big deal, right? <laughs> but yeah, what better way to start off our Champions League adventure? First time here in this career mode than against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Alright, so this is the squad I am going to use against Real Madrid. Uh, it's going to be Jenkinson in for Agbeguma because he played last game. But on that, it is pretty much our first team out. But to be honest, I'd be happy with a draw. Especially away from home against Real. Because, I don't know, Real is probably going to go through first. No doubt about that. And it's pretty much me, Leverkusen and Fenerbahce who are battling for that second spot. And I think we could be better than Leverkusen, you know. But who knows, maybe we can steal a point here. Alright, there's Real Madrid's side. They got Falcao, got Ronaldo, they got Bale, Hamas Rodriguez, Modric, Toni Kroos, Ramos Verane back there, Casillas in goal. That's a very strong side, possibly the best one we have faced yet. This is the team line. Oh my god, <laughs> come on boys, I think we can do it. <laughs> Who knows, anything can happen really. Ah, oh, come on. It was such a great tackle by Weigel. And we don't get it back. Oh, and somehow it bounced to Bale, but luckily he missed that. 20 minutes in now. And then my recording software stopped working, so... This part of the video is unfortunately going to be a post commentary. I oh, don't know, there's just nothing you can do really. But anyways, you just saw the big chance by Bale. I don't know how he missed that really, but after we uh, kicked the ball off with Nardi from the goal kick, we get actually a pretty good chance here with Roberts going down the wing, cutting inside, passing into Chifchi, and a nice shot there, but Cassius uh, makes the save there. Not the greatest of finishes really, but it was a pretty good chance for us and uh, from that corner. Uh, just look what happens, it's actually quite weird, to be honest. Uh, first, I couldn't really find a uh, anywhere to uh, cross it, really. Then, I think Verane was it who clears it. Miles high, and it falls to Chief G, who heads it in. It was just a weird goal, like I said. Um, yeah, just look at that, it goes miles high, and Chief G wins the head. And I think Casillas actually had his hand on the ball, so probably should have made the save there. But anyways, it is 1-0 to us, which is quite surprisingly, in the 25th minute. And, you know, Real Madrid was actually not playing that well. We were, we were actually the better team with much more possession, better pass accuracy. And just from their kickoff, really, we get another good chance as Chifchi gets tackled there. However, Roberts gets it back, pass it to Zlalem, pass it to I, who passes it to Zivkovic. And Zivkovic, with a beautiful finish there, makes it... 2-0 just 3 minutes in game time after the 1-0 just absolutely amazing finish by Zivkovic there and this time no chance for Casillas to do anything really and yeah we're moving towards the end of the first half Real Madrid actually get their second chance of the game here as Bale heads it to Falcao and he heads it in just nothing I could do there really just impossible to defend that and yeah it was 2-1, and now uh, moving to the 17th minute, we were still quite dominant uh, possession-wise, but they got a big chance here, and I don't know how Bale missed another sitter right there. Absolutely woeful uh, finishing by him, uh, just like uh, in the situation in the first half. Just I don't know how he missed that, but again, we got a goal kick after a Bale miss. And again, we actually managed to get a good chance up the, out of that. I got Nabry in for Chief G playing at Cam now. As Roberts plays it to Zivkovic there. A nice shot fake, cuts inside. Again, Ramos not looking too good. And it is 3-1 to us, actually. Absolutely amazing and absolutely woeful defending by Real Madrid right there. And it was, again, one of those weird finishes where the player slides and it almost automatically goes in because the shot all of a sudden has 130 miles per hour. <laughs> but anyways, there I stupidly lose the ball with Salalem. Bale gets it back, crosses it in to Ronaldo, and he makes that 3-2. And actually, after the 3-1, I thought, okay, now I can relax a little bit. But just very soon afterwards, 
they scored this one and it was again squeaky bum time I guess as Sir Alex Ferguson would put it but now Jordan Ibe gets through here gets past Isco he uh, uh, cuts inside with a shot fake and Salka with a shot there turning around off balance really not a uh, dangerous one to be honest Casillas pushing the man forward kicks it off and uh, Jenkinson actually wins the header here and Roberts gets the ball gets past uh, Ramos again Ramos again with the shot fake totally done and Roberts again a beautiful finish by us there absolutely fantastic pretty much uh, like Zivkovic a nice top left corner uh, finished by Roberts there I think for Zivkovic it was actually top right corner but just look at it with his left foot which is I think his weaker foot not 100% sure but I think he has actually three or four stars uh, weak foot but feels like he has five star weak foot definitely it doesn't really matter with, uh, what foot you shoot Roberts always gets a good shot but anyways that's it we've actually won against Real Madrid 4-2 absolutely insane yeah just look at the stats we deserve this win Zivkovic picks up a 9.8 rating but yeah we had 55% possession 90% accuracy pass accuracy that is and also Madrid had like 65% pass accuracy and we had more shots and more shots on target. Jake Goodman accepts a contract offer and now we will take a look at this squad report. We haven't done that thus far this season and there's Paul Nardi again. For some reason he's unhappy. You know we offered him a contract which he accepted but he still felt underpaid so I gave him 5k more. But he's still uh, unhappy because he thinks the management is poor. But anyways Castelletto got a plus one. Uh, also Julian Weigel, hopefully he can hit the 80s this season, same as Alalem. Patrick Roberts is now our highest rated player with 81 overall, one overall higher than our second highest rated player, which is Zivkovic obviously. Chifty unfortunately not growing, Jordan Ipe got a plus one, David Ford is going down in the stats. Danny Ings possibly also getting to the 80s this season, who knows, only 26 years old. Uh, nice progression by him, I think we got him at 75 overall, if I remember correctly. Dominic Anderson hasn't grown for a while actually. Which is kind of unfortunate. Davy Selke probably gonna go up plus one soon. Ajeti got up plus one. Isaac Bailey got up plus one. Now he's 70 overall at only 16 years old. Absolutely insane. But his stats are just uh, not good enough. 48 stamina and terrible, uh, terrible uh, pace, obviously. Uh, McNulty is up to 71 overall. Stendera got up plus one. Aiden O'Brien and Mark Beavers actually got up plus one, which is kind of weird. Mark Beavers hasn't grown that much for me so far. I can't quite remember. I think he actually started off as a 70 overall, if I remember correctly. And now at 28 years old, he finally decides to grow. And our players on loan also not doing too badly. Now, against Stoke, this game was actually a couple of days after the Champions League game against Real Madrid. So I played my second squad with Danny Inks up front, Stendera, and. Uh, and. For fuck's sake, uh, I forgot his name. Olinga uh, on his left. And also Gerhard, Isaac Bile actually, and Dele Ali in the midfield. So if we are on to take we are to take on Stoke here. We are first in the league. Stoke are eighth, obviously only four games in that doesn't say too much. But still we have the best goal difference in the league. And that is definitely not a bad start for us. Haven't lost a game so far. As Gerhard from the pass of Danny Ings. Uh, takes a nice shot, Begovic, without too much trouble, saves that. And now Danny Ings with a header off the corner, which is kind of weird because he's uh, not the tallest, but he wins loads of headers for me. And uh, yeah, that's <coughs> that is pretty good to see. Sorry. And now Stender out with another shot on goal, but Begovic, again, not too much trouble saving that. And against Stoke, I always had some trouble. If, if you remember last season, we drew twice against them. And it just wasn't, this game wasn't better. Do you fit right there? Scores just before half time, make it 1 0 to them, and oh, I just say frustrating goal. I overcommitted with Alan the Jetty there, and it was just an easy shot for Juve. It was near post, and Ford probably could have done better, but we all know near post is OP, just like we've seen last game with Zivkovic's second goal. There, another shot at Begovic, but again, right at him, so not too much trouble for him. And Juve, another nice chance just before halftime, but luckily he missed that over the bar. And yeah, now we were chasing them. I was playing aggressively. Now, in the 50th minute, I got through with Olinga. Nice shot fake here, but just look at that defense. So strong. Then Ings gets it back. They get it back. We get it back. Uh, uh, whoever, uh, Data Ali was it, yeah. We pass it back to Ings. And we just lose and win the ball all the time. It was a really scrappy 
situation that actually the whole game was kind of scrappy. Uh, not the best. Uh, no, both sides were not really playing the best. But Stoke get another chance here in the 68th minute. And luckily they missed that wide. Or that would have probably been the dagger. Really. However, Bohan is through. As he gets a nice chance. Passed it over to Juve. And he obviously makes that in the 72nd minute. And at that point I felt like the game was over. I was then trying to do some Man United tactics. <laughs> nah, just kidding. But anyways, uh, nothing re re really worked out for me in this game. They almost got 3-0 there, barely missing by. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the game. Really not performing well though. For some reason we dominated, almost dominated, Real Madrid. Uh, we just can't win against Stoke, even though we've put up a pretty solid side, as you could have uh, seen at the start. But just look at their 58% possession. Absolutely insane, and our 63% pass accuracy. Absolutely dreadful. Isaac Billy is happy to play a couple games. I definitely want to give him a couple games, because he's actually quite quite a good player. Definitely on the ball, he's a good player, has good long shots. And yeah, as you can see, next time we will take on Man City in the Capital One Cup. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Again, I'm sorry that my recording messed up. I guess you can't go through uh, episode 69 without a fuck up. Haha, <laughs> mad banter. Anyway, subscribe for more Mario Green Mode. Tune in next time. See you guys then. Goodbye.